All right, all right, all right. And we are back with the GSMC Wrestling Laureate Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. I'm your host, Eric Rodriguez, here every Monday through Friday, 8 p.m. Pacific Time, 11 p.m. Eastern Time, talking everything in terms of professional wrestling on the GSMC Sports Network. So, uh, you know, yeah, make sure you tune in. Um, just kind of reflect on what we talked about real quick. We had our AEW Dynamite review. And now we're going to jump on into my Thursday night wrestling preview. We'll talk about TNA, also Ring of Honor. But before we do any of that, I want to remind you guys to hit up that super chat. You got a burning question or a comment, or if you just want to, you know, rattle up the cages a little bit of not just me, uh, just everybody tuning in. We're going to talk about it on the chat. If you hit it up, hit up that super chat because you guys are super awesome. And together we will make sure this show is amazing. You know, we make sure this show is amazing, you know, it's because we just overall care about the overall product and the content that we share on the GSMC Sports Network. We definitely love each and every one of our fans, 1,010% people who subscribe. You know, uh, you could definitely subscribe to me. If you are, you know, if you're a new wrestling fan, it's it's perfect. Uh, you know, I talk about, uh, you know, reviews and previews, and I talk about major news wrestling, get into it, you know, I analysis, you know, uh, predictions, you know, and then we just have fun. We just have fun on this podcast, uh, 1,010%. Um, so yeah, once again, it helps us, uh, you know, kind of keep the lights on in terms of keeping the, uh, keeping the podcast alive, keeping the network going. We definitely need you guys. We love you guys. We are so thankful for each and every one of you guys. Obviously we wouldn't be anywhere without you guys, but overall, you know, hit up that super chat, hit up those super stickers because you guys are super awesome. Hit up that dollar sign below the chat box and send in your comment or question and it's be guaranteed to be on the show. So let's do it. Let's make this show bigger. Let's make this show better, funner, friendlier, and just an overall bombshell. Uh, because, you know, me and you, amazing team, amazing tag team here, man. We're like the, you know, the angry, the not the, no, the, we're like the wild Samoans, you know, 16 times. I'm just kidding. But no, overall, like, uh, you know, as a tag team, we can kill it. We're going to do great. So make sure you hit up the super chat. Once again, if the super chat is not your thing, I get it. Hit us up at the tips and donations link at the gsmcpodcast.net. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Superman punch that like a subscribe button to the show. Follow the show. Follow the network here at the GSMC Sports Network. We do love a lot of peace, love, and positivity. But overall, feedback is a gift. Definitely want to hear you guys' as, you know, honest opinions. And it's going to be great. It's going to be great. All right. So let's go ahead and dive into some of this TNA action we have tonight. Should be pretty badass. Obviously, this is the fallout from uh, you know, from emergence that happened on uh that happened on Friday. So I, th- I thought that was uh, you know, kind of pretty cool. Um after you saw the system, after you saw the system defeat the likes of uh Mike Santana, Joe Hendry, and the Hardy Boys, it seems like they're kind of going, they're kind of getting back on track here. And JDC is uh, you know, a huge reason why this um, you know, stable is probably going to work. I could believe that you're probably going to see somebody maybe debut in NXT. I would love to see the system. You know, I want to see Moose challenge uh, Obafemi for that NXT uh, North American Championship. And I, you know, I, I want to see, I, I just want to see these guys do great. Because throughout my tenure watching TNA recently, they've been on the top. They've been on the mountaintop. You know, you had Edwards, you know, you Alicia Edwards as well. You know what I mean? Like. Yeah, a lot of talented superstars that I feel like that could do so well in WWE NXT. And, um, you know, I think it's just a matter of time. I think a thousand and ten percent, it's just a matter of time that we're going to see something like this happen. Uh, you know, uh, this con- this con- collaboration between WWE NXT and TNA is, you know, just kicking off. It's just starting, uh, just starting off. But overall, the system is a force to be reckoned with. And it's going to be excited to see what they do tonight on uh, TNA Impact. Next, we have fresh off of a victory at TNA Emergence, and as well as defeating Ash by L against, uh, you know, so that's three times. Though, you know, the, the third time was, you know, tag teaming and stuff like that. But she was able to, t- uh, you know, uh, the uh, the TNA Knockouts World Champion teamed up with Spitfire and destroyed Ash by L against Alicia Edwards and Masha Slamovich. I watched highlights of this match. I'm not going to lie to you. I watched highlights of this match. And I thought overall it was great. It was, you know, it was super great. She's going to have an open challenge tonight. Also next week on NXT on, uh, you know, um, on WWE week on the USA Network. She's also going to have an open challenge uh, on, uh, you know, 
on NXT next Tuesday. So that should be, you know, pretty darn interesting. We actually have a segment about that moving forward. But uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I love Jordan Grace. I love how she's, she's a champion. She's probably the best in uh, women's wrestling right now. But uh, and, uh, maybe a little under the, you know, under the credit a little bit here. But overall, I think it's great. I think she's doing great. All right, next we will hear from the new X Division champion, Zachary Wentz, uh, last Tuesday on TNA, uh, on, uh, sorry, NXT. You saw him and Trey Miguel win a title, uh, uh, an NXT World Tag Team Championship match with Axiom and Nathan Frazier. Um, you know, moving forward, I think it was the first on the CW, their first episode that's taking place on October 1st. So uh, this guy's on fire. This guy's on fire. He defeated Wes Lee. You know, I kind of like that. I kind of love how he defeated Wesley at No Mercy. Because Wesley, the only argument he really had that really, that he thought was, you know, legible and legitimate as hell is that, dude, you know, you come to WWE to soak up all this attention. You're not a WWE superstar. You're a TNA wrestler. And, it just, you know, it was, I, I thought, oh, you know, it was kind of bad. It was kind of bad. I didn't think that he was there. They were going to bring that up because I think overall the collaboration maybe might suffer from it. But, you know, so far it seems like having that lingering, you know, thought or ideology, however you like to call it, in the minds of TNA fans as well as NXT fans, I think when these guys meet for the Survivor Series, it's going to be awesome. You're going to see that, you know, Kind of like you're going to have Raw versus SmackDown, but then you're going to see TNA take on NXT, where you have Roxanne Perez. You know, uh, Jordan, Han Jordan Jordan Grace gets her hands on her once again. Maybe you see, you know, ABC take on the Rascals. You know, it'd be kind of crazy to be like, the Rascals, you know, you're, you're, you're TNA superstars, but you're representing NXT with their titles. You know, that could happen as well. And I just think it'd be badass. I would not freaking love Dolph Ziggler you know, or Nick Nemeth comes back to WWE after he was kind of treated like crap. Trying to, you know, he was being talked down to by Vince McMahon, Pat Patterson, Jared Briscoe constantly backstage, according to reports, of course. I'm not just making this stuff up. Um, Nick Nemeth taking on Ethan Page, or even maybe somehow, some way, Joe Henry gets that title, which I feel like they desperately need a champion that's kind of more in your face than Ethan Page. I love kind of how Ethan Page is is at this moment where he's, you know, he's constantly being at the right place at the right time where he kind of comes in, hands behind his back and he's like, "So, Ava, what do you think about that?" Like, you know what I mean? He's just this antagonist. He's this he's this jerk that like he's always right. And like, I don't know, it's just uh, you know, I I think he's doing a great job, but overall, I you know, I feel like if WWE wants to expand over the CW network, which isn't really thriving, but for NXT, I feel like that's, uh, you know, kind of great. If Raw or SmackDown was like, hey, you're going to the CW, it's kind of like, dude, what did I do? Who did I screw over? Why, like, you know what I mean? But no, overall, I just think it's kind of great. Zachary Wentz is an amazing superstar. I was kind of bummed out that Speedball, you know, Mike Bailey didn't get the victory because I loved him when he beat Mustafa Ali, but, you know... It is what it is. It is what it is. All right. So next we have Kushida and the Laredo Kid tonight as well going one-on-one. -on -one. Two of the hottest TNA X Division stars are going to go at it. Um, Kushida recently debuted, not debuted, returned. And the Laredo Kid, you know, he's been within that X Division for, for quite some time here. So there's no doubt in my mind that maybe he's going to be able to kind of build up some momentum to challenge Zachary Wentz for that X Division championship. Next, we have Eric Young taking on um, Jake something. Something that I love and respect about Eric Young is that he's kind of been with TNA thick and through, through the bad, through the ugly. So you got to respect that. Moose will tag with JDC against Mike Santana and say his name, man. He appears. I believe in Joe Hendry. Bah, bah, ah, but no, it's going to be a great match. Overall, it's going to be an amazing match. Can't wait to see it. And uh, yeah, all right, moving on to Ring of Honor. We have a one on one match between Katsuyori Shibata and the premier athletes, Josh Woods. You know, I love Shibata. I, Shibata is an amazing superstar. You kind of have him, you know, in this mix between Taz, Hook, and also, uh, well, Samojo's, you know, he's been written off. He's filming uh, uh, Twisted Metal 2, season two, where he's, oh my God, I keep forgetting his character name. Damn it. Oh my God. 
sure when i think you know randomly it'll pop up and be like oh my god crazy but uh, uh it should be a good match katsuri shibata is definitely one of the most um you know promising wrestlers you know that you know that new japan professional wrestling's ever really had you know kind of reminds me of like this you know kind of like a young kazukata but not really young because he's you know kind of you know i feel like he's going to get a shot he's going to get a shot as you know he's a, he's a former peer champion so i you know i definitely think he's gonna you know kill it he's gonna do well uh loera loca tyra Valkyrie versus rev pro undisputed british women's champion mina shirakawa you know i'm I'm all in with mina shirakawa i think she's great a thousand and ten percent she's definitely one of my favorite superstars on uh on aew because she's just so damn unpredictable she's like that she's like she could be a baby face oh my god she could be a baby face she can just you know fat those eyes at you and you'd be like oh my god like you know and then she can all of a sudden stab someone in the back and you're like holy shit and holy crap i i like this as well but overall, I feel like it's great for Mina Shirakawa. This match is going to be great. She's definitely going to somebody going to continue this dominance. Next, we have a tag team belt. We have the Spanish announced project and Helico and Sopretico going up against the Iron Savages, Bronson and Boulder. Bronson and Boulder, you know, I really haven't seen much of a kind of reminds me of heavy machinery, you know, where they're too damn big and too damn like forceful to be like, look, like, you know, kind of like where you see WWE and Braun Strowman. Bronson Reed, when Keith Lee was doing his thing, when the Big Show was back in the WWF Attitude Era, some of these guys are too big and so dominant to be like, can these guys really have a good match? But overall, I think they do. I think they do. So I think this match is going to be great. Next, we have a one-on-one. Aaron Solo takes on Rocky Romero tonight on uh, um, Ring of Honor. Kuhan Angelo Parker takes on Griff Garrison tonight as well. Also, we have a May, we have a full card. Nick Camarado will take on Big Shot Elite Johnson. Fuego de Soul will take on Dark Order John Silver. Lance Archer and the Righteous are going to be in Trios Combat. Uh, Abaddon in action, Anthony Henry and Beef in tag team at competition. Premier athletes Aria Davari and Tony Nice is also in action. Rachel Ellinger hopes to bounce back from her loss against Mina Shirakawa last week. And it's just, you know, so much more, so much more Ring of Honor. So make sure, you know, on uh, I think it's Honor Club TV. I don't want to be wrong, but I think they have a YouTube thing as well. You can sign into, but it, it, it's great. Ring of Honor right now is on fire, so um, you know, make definitely go check that out. All right, next we're gonna talk about Jordan Grace's overall NXT. No, wait, no, that's I was gonna say. I was like, wasn't that my fourth segment? Jumping the gun here. I'm leaving you guys. You know, a little breadcrumbs. You know, giving you guys cliffhangers. So make sure you stay tuned for segment four. Uh, segment three, though, we're going to talk about TNA Emergence. I'm going to give you my reaction as soon as we come back. So, hey, do not go anywhere. 